Hello everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte. This is part two of a two-part series on how to level up your color pencils. In the first video I shared a couple of tips on leveling up your color pencils by drawing two different cat eyes. The first one I colored at a kind of beginner level that I was at when I first started getting into color pencils and then I went ahead and showed you some of the tips that I use to kind of level that up. In this video I'm going to be focusing on how to create a fur-like texture in your drawings. I love reading your ISIS comments and messages and answering questions that you have. One of the more popular questions that I receive is how do I improve my artwork? And some of you guys even send me pictures of your lovely artwork and ask for tips. In a comment or a message it's really hard for me to be able to give good instruction on how to improve artwork. So generally what I do is I wait until I've received a lot of comments on a certain topic and then I'll make a video on it. So this is the case with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you four tips on how to level up your artwork in drawing fur. Tip number one, do what you can to save your paper. In the first video I talked about the tooth of the paper, the bumpiness or texture of the paper. The more you work your pencil on the paper, the more you're gonna kind of beat that down and smooth the tooth out. And when the bumpiness is all gone, there's nothing left to grab hold of the coloring of the pencil. That's why it's really hard to color of something that you've pushed really hard or burnished. So you're gonna to wanna to do some things to save your paper for the actual color pencil work. I will lay a base tone down using a different medium, generally either a marker or even watercolor. Now I tend to prefer markers for my base coloring rather than watercolors, simply because markers are a little bit more gentle to the paper. Another good reason to put down your base tone with markers or watercolors is it's really going to help showcase the darker tones and your lighter tones of your color pencil. Once we have the base color into place, it's time for tip number two, and that is to lay in your fur color. Now, the temptation in this part is just to grab your whatever shade it is. If you're drawing a brown cat, you want to grab a brown color pencil and just to scrub that brown color in there and color in that area. You're not going to want to do that. First, you're going to want to look at all the different shades that you have. It's never just one color. Even if you have one color of hair, if you look at it in the light, you're gonna have a darker tone to that where there's a shadow and a lighter tone to that where there's a highlight. So for this cat, there was a lot of different kind of grays and browns mixed in. So I got a wide selection of those colors and I begin to lay the fur in one hair at a time. And this process definitely takes a lot of patience. As you begin to draw, and create this fur texture. Remember not to draw it symmetrical, like you're drawing all the hairs going the exact same direction and exactly the same length in a neat little tiny row. You definitely don't want to see like a line pattern going in your fur. So even if you just move your hair just slightly, so one's going slightly off to this direction and one slightly off of that direction, the best thing you can do is look at photos or real life if you have a cat or a dog, look and see how their fur lays. Yes, it's, it's flowing in a direction. All the hairs aren't exactly the same. Each individual hair kind of is doing its own little thing. To create shadows, you're gonna to wanna to create your fur in a more dense pattern and use darker colors. So drawing those fur patterns closer together will create kind of that shadow. And on the flip side, when you wanna create highlights, you're gonna use lighter tones and maybe spread your fur out just a little bit thinner. Now moving on to tip number three, and I kind of mentioned this in the first video, but you're gonna to wanna to keep your pencil really, really sharp. I mean like so sharp that if you push too hard on it, it'll snap the tip right off your pencil. A sharp pencil is gonna give you a finer line, which is going to give you a nicer quality looking to your fur. Now, before I continue on and tell you my last tip for this video, let me just say that my style is not a super hyper realistic style. I tend to look at it as more of an illustrated style or cartoony style. But my friend Kirsty, who is an amazing artist, also has a YouTube channel where she creates amazing color pencil works. And amidst all these beautiful color pencil works, she also has beautiful tutorials. And I asked her if she'd like to come and share on our channel. So welcome to Art à la carte, Christy. Tell us a little bit about your channel. Hello everyone, I'm Kirsty and I specialize in using colored pencils and I create loads of tutorials and artwork here on YouTube. What is one of the top mistakes artists do when beginning to use colored pencils? 
Okay, so I think the most common beginner mistake would probably be burnishing too early. And this is where you apply a lot of pressure to the coloured pencil, which flattens out the tooth of the paper and means that it's really hard to get additional layers on top. And I think a lot of people just do this because they're really excited to finish the drawing and so they don't spend the time needed to really build up those layers slowly. But I do just have a new video that's come out where I talk about lots of different common beginner mistakes. But yeah, I definitely think that's probably the most common mistake. Thank you so much, Christy, for sharing some of that. And definitely, if you guys want to find out some more tips and tricks on color pencil work, you want to check out her channel, which this is really funny. Christy didn't know the theme of my video, and I didn't know what video she was going to produce. But if you go and check out her channel, she just released this last week a video on drawing cat eyes and cat fur. So I definitely suggest that you go and check out her video on this topic because she works in this medium a lot more than I do. She has a lot more experience. So I highly recommend her channel if you're interested in boosting up your color pencil work. Jump over to her channel, give her some love, subscribe to her channel, say hi from Art a la carte, and yeah, enjoy. So my final tip for this video is one that I've given a lot, but I just can't emphasize this enough, and that is to take your time. A realistic picture or even a semi-realistic picture is going to be something that you just can't throw in onto the paper really, really fast, especially with color pencils. Color pencils is a very slow, time-consuming medium. You get great results, beautiful results, but take your time. If you rush it, it'll look rushed. <laughs> so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you found this video helpful. Maybe you learned something. Thank you so much, Kirsty, for coming to my channel and chatting with us. Definitely go over, subscribe to her channel, and until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!